What we're going to do though, is we're just going to allow JSON or HTML. So the browser pipeline will accept either. Now, not every single route will work with both. So let's go to our card controller. We can change index and show very easily to handle both. All we have to do is remove the .html and turn it into an atom. With this atom, if the request comes in for HTML, it will return HTML. If the request comes in for JSON, it will return JSON. Uh, and, and actually you can have other ones too, but we'll just stick with these two for now and do the same with show. So if we get a JSON request, it's going to look for uh, show.json.eex instead of a show.html.eex. The simplest way to do this, or, or I should say maybe the most uh, similar to what we're used to way is in the same directory where we've got all of our card templates. We'll just add another file, call it show.json.eex. And all we need to do here is just json.encode card. And then I'll grab a curl command to copy from my notes. And we'll restart the server. And once that server is restarted, we should just be able to make sure we're in the right direct. Actually, the directory doesn't matter at all. Um, we'll just curl with accept application JSON and get the first card. And you can see from the result, we got a card and this is in JSON. If we don't have this accept header, if we just do curl localhost 4000 cards one, we get the same information. It's just, it's in the HTML form. So we've got the title, buy some potatoes, request JSON, we get JSON. It's very straightforward. And obviously this is an incredibly simple template. We can do the same thing on, uh, on index. We can just copy this exact thing over here and make another one, index.json.eex. And since index gets multiple cards from the controller, we can see up here, we're getting all of those. We encode all of those and let's give this a try instead of cards 21 we'll just get all the cards and you can see we've got more json like that so that's really straightforward that's really easy to do um, there's actually an even easier way to do this though so i'm going to delete the index json and i'm also going to delete the show json and then we're going to open up the card view and in the card view we can just add a function for each of those so we just need to define the functions for render so render index.json and that's going to take cards cards that are passed in from our controller and then we just do cards now the reason that this is all we need is because if we go to the card, uh, the card schema, we've got this drive JSON encoder up here, Phoenix drive. Phoenix knows how to encode this into JSON. So uh, it's just done for us from the card view when it's returning cards and JSON is expected. Uh, then we'll do the same for show dot json and it's going to be singular card singular card and do card with this saved let's stop the server start the server again and note that we don't have we don't have those json templates anymore we still have the ability to curl individual cards and to curl all of the cards requesting json so when we run this from the terminal, or actually when we run this from the, the client side JavaScript, we'll get back a JSON response uh, that'll be very easy to work with. One more thing that might be useful or interesting to see is uh, you can actually just 
pipe the exact same stuff through the API and the router. So we've got this pipeline browser, we've got this other pipeline API. There's nothing stopping us from making another scope that is for API. And in this one, we just have cards and maybe we, we only get cards that are from index or from show. So it's just these two routes that we just saw, nothing else. And we pipe this through API and the scope is on API. So now what we can do is we can actually go to the same page that we would for a card. So say card two right here, uh, cards two. Uh, except we add an API to the beginning of it, API cards two. This gets sent to the exact same controller, the exact same action. It's still the card controller. It's still the show action. It's just that when we get to this atom, based on the type of data that was requested, we'll return a different format. Uh, except I probably have to restart the server again because we changed the router. So you can see JSON there, JSON here for all the cards. And since we're just reading this data, there's no complication with uh, the CSRF token or anything like that.